Alright, hello, I am Carlos Asmas and I'm going to show you uh, another now behavior which is uh, hold hands. Uh, this is useful if you want to have now walk alongside you and also it's useful with uh, small children that are now sized uh, so they can uh, interact with now in a natural way. So I can, I'll launch a program. Which program should I launch? Google SDP, Wolfram Alpha Knowledge, Novella by Sample, Green. Now, with Thunderstruck, hold hands. So, I select hold hands, double tap. Loading hold hands. Now it will load, you see the eyes uh, that are um, that are turning the back, which is pretty cool. And uh, once the program is, uh, is loaded, it will launch. Uh, the behavior is that uh, it will stand up and, uh, and await in that position. If nothing happens, it will it will try to, uh, it will start doing uh, random stuff basically. So, you can see it here. It's waiting. Uh, you see it has the, uh, the slight motion in the body, that's uh, I think it's called the full body breathing. Um, so it, it's just, to, so it looks a bit more natural. If we let it, I think for 30 seconds, it will start uh, selecting whatever random action he wants to do and he'll do it. So we can wait for that. Uh, in the meantime, it's good to know that uh, there you go. So it keeps waiting, and will be some other random action if left unattended. So if I touch a hand. Where should I go? It asks where it should go and it starts closing and uh, opening the hand. So it means Please that hold my hand. if I hold it and it feels uh, there is uh, some resistance in the hand, I'm it, will, waiting. it will start uh, uh, going into the walking mode. So now it's in the walking mode. If I pull the hand forward, it will start walking forward. If, uh, if I release the hand, it will stay there. If I pull it backwards, basically uh, moving the elbow, it will back, go backwards. Again, you will stay there. And if you pull it on this side, it will start turning. Same thing on the other side. So, uh, a good thing about this behavior is that you can really use it to uh, to have now follow you uh, fairly, fairly well. It will, it will respond very well to to uh, slight turns, so you can make it really try to follow me. And also, it's uh, it's good to know that now it's really slow. Um, well, it's fast enough for a robot this size, but it's very small, so it's slow for humans. So if you're planning to walk a long time, with now this is, uh, can be a bit difficult. So once uh, it will wait for some time, and then it will go back down. If we want to make it go into a more um, steady position, I think we just click on the back of the head, or the front of the head. Don't really remember. Middle of the head, the middle of the head. So, and then you can just wait in a better way. If not, it will just wait like that and go into that mode anyway, the, the waiting mode. And again, if left for, left for 30 seconds, it will start doing uh, random actions. Uh, this was the uh, the behavior used in the, uh, in the red carpet in last year's uh, Robot Film Festival. So, it's, it's very useful and it's, it's very fun. And it's very, very good with kids too. So, thanks for watching.